NFL team owner slams kneeling players as inmates running the prison. NFL team owners, like NFL sponsors, are getting frustrated. The NFL's ratings are down, due in a large part to the complete inability of the league to get a handle on players who insist on kneeling during the national anthem, and some of the owners are absolutely sick of their players' attitude. On Friday, ESPN reported that Houston Texans owner Bob McNair compared players to inmates running a prison during a league meeting on October 18. As ESPN reported, as Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones spoke, Washington Redskins owner Daniel Snyder, Snyder mumbled out loud, see, Jones gets it, 96% of Americans are for guys standing, a claim some dismissed as a grand overstatement. McNair, a multi-million dollar Trump campaign contributor, spoke next, echoing many of the same business concerns. We can't have the inmates running the prison, McNair said. That statement stunned some in the room. Then, New England Parshiot's owner Robert Kraft, who is close friends with Trump, politely rebuked the hardliners, saying that he supported the league's marketing proposal and predicted the issue would work itself out over time. Well, that remains to be seen. But in any case, we can't have inmates running the prison is strong language, even for those who strongly oppose those who kneel during the national anthem. I'm all for standing for the national anthem, I'm all for creating a mandate recurring players to stand for the anthem while they're on the job, but come on. Players aren't prisoners. The comment infuriated McNair's own players. According to ESPN, some players left the team's practice facility on Friday after the remark became public. One player told the network that players would meet Saturday to discuss a possible demonstration before Sunday's game in Seattle against the Seattle Seahawks. Scheduled for 4.05 p.m. on CBS. McNair has since apologized for the statement, saying that I used a figure of speech that was never intended to be taken literally, according to Boston-based radio station WEI. Whether you agree or disagree with McNair's statement, however, there is one thing that can be taken away from this that's good for all proponents of respecting the national anthem. There are major bigwigs in the industry who agree with you. It's hard to believe, but these idiotic anthem protests have persisted in some form or fashion for over a year now, from the time former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick started the fad last season. It might have something to do with why he's not playing football now although he hadn't been playing all that well even before he started his protest. As pressure from President Donald Trump and sports fans nationwide persists, it is likely only a matter of time until the National Football League is forced to either mandate respect for the Star Spangled Banner or prepare for some next-level economic hardship. What do you think about this story? Please share this on Facebook and Twitter and let us know. What did you think of this owner's statement? and his apology. Scroll down to comment below. Below.